In this video, let's learn how to handle patch requests. A patch request applies partial modifications to a resource. In our case, since we have just the one property, text, updating the comment is quite straightforward. Let's begin by understanding what a patch request looks like in Thunder Client. I'm going to first change the HTTP verb from get to patch. The URL remains the same as we will be updating the comment with ID 3. Under the body tab in the JSON section, I'm going to add an object with the text property set to a different string. Updated comment. We don't specify the ID as it is already part of the URL. If I now hit the send button, we see status 405 method not allowed. Let's go back to our dynamic route handler and add a function to handle this patch request. In route.ts within the ID folder, I'm going to use pieces to insert a route handler function. The function is an async function called patch. The function receives request and context as parameters. So request of type request, and context is the same as the get request handler. It's an object with params, and params contains our ID, which corresponds to the folder name. Within the function, we extract the JSON body that is sent as part of the request. So const body is equal to await request.json. We then destructure text from body this property right here. Next, we find the comment that we need to update. We can use either array.find or find index. I am going to use find index as we will use the same method for delete as well in the next video. So const index is equal to comments.find index. And for the callback, find the comment whose id is equal to parse int params.id. Once we have found the index for the comment, we update the text property on that comment. So comments of index, which is the comment we want, dot text is equal to the text we have extracted from the request. Finally, we return a new response with the updated comment as JSON. So return response.json comments of index. If we now go back to Thunder Client and hit the send button, we see status 200 OK and the updated comment as the response. ID 3 text updated comment. You can also verify the entire list by restarting the server. So npm run dev make a get request to slash comments. We see ID 1, 2, and 3, the text being the original text. Send a patch request to update the third comment text. Send a get request again, and we see ID 3 has the updated text. This is essentially how we handle patch requests in route handlers. In the next video, let's see how to handle delete requests. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.